Hey guys, and um, welcome back to the Indigo family. It's Molly here, and today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial, which is like so highly requested from you guys. And as you may or may not know, I'm a makeup artist. Um, I trained in the London School of Beauty and Makeup in Barbican in London, and I came out with a diploma, a distinction, um, and I'm now a professional qualified makeup artist. So I'm not going to be doing anything crazy today, I'm literally just going to be doing my everyday makeup routine and so many people ask me about this, ask me about my base and what products I use, so I'm going to be speaking to you about all of that today. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, so a lot of you have been asking how I do my brows. So the first step I'm going to be doing is my brows. So I use Pears Soap, it's literally 90p. Like. This is the best soap to use on your brows, trust me. And you're supposed to wet it a little bit. So I just put some bottled water on here. And like, it's not dripping. You see, it's just, just a bit wet. And then I take a spoolie. This is not a clean spoolie for a reason. I've used this multiple times. And for me, when I get like just a good thin stick to rub on my brows, it's like makes it a hundred times easier for me. So basically when you've got the wet soap, you just go like this to try and get a paste. Okay, and now I just brush my brows upwards. I literally go flatten it with my finger because this is important because otherwise they're not gonna be stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow now off camera and I'll be back in a sec. So my brows are now done. Once you've achieved the look you were looking to achieve with the soap brows, you take a makeup wipe and you wipe around the edges to wipe the excess of the soap off because if you do not do this, when you apply foundation, etc., it's just going to go all crusty. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to primer. Bearing in mind, I did cleanse and tone my face before the video. So make sure you start off with a clean base, everything fresh. I woke up and it's the first thing I did. So I've got two primers, which I'm gonna to describe to you now. So this is the MAC strobe cream. This is purely for glowy skin. This is the Illa Masca um, Matte Primer. Okay. It blaze and mattifies your face for the whole day, okay? So, what I like to do is use both. So, the first one I take is the um, matte primer, just a little bit, and I dab it around the center of my face because I'm sure the same with everyone, the center of your face is the most oily, your T-zone. I don't know if anyone's seen the recent TikTok trend about using lube for primer. Personally, I won't be trying this because I just feel like it can't be good for your skin. Like the sticky consistency is just, it cannot be good for your skin. Okay, so I'm gonna then, oh, I'm gonna take the smallest bit of this because a little goes a long way. I say the smallest bit, there was already quite a lot out of the bottle. And this is where I'm gonna to apply to the edges of my face. So, just make sure this part doesn't go into the center of your face because otherwise you're just gonna be shine ball, shiny everywhere. It's foundation time. And so many people ask me what foundation I use and this is my honest answer. I use this Primark, can you all see? This Primark foundation, it says double coverage matte foundation, long wear matte finish, oil free. There is no lies on the packet. Honestly, this bottle is five pounds from Primark. It's the dupe for the Estee Lauder foundation. Um, and I do love the Estee Lauder foundation, but why spend that much money on a foundation when you can use this? for five pounds, exactly the same. I'm saving you girls, I'm saving you. The only downfall I would say personally for this foundation is I love to use a pump. And once you've tipped like the foundation out for this, 
and you're running out, it's so hard to get out. You need to put a brush down there and everything. I don't like the application form. But anyways, let's move on. So as you can see, I have a really tan body right now. Um, it's a little bit patchy, but it's only because of dry skin. That's all. Even when I tan, I get dry skin patches. This one's the worst for me. Shoulders. I do moisturise every night. But yeah, I tanned about a day, two days ago. Um, my face is obviously paler, so I'm going to match my neck today with the foundation. So I apply it by putting a little bit on here. I just start off with a little bit because I can always add more. And then I'm just going to go like this, okay? So this is a really good colour match to my tan. And as you may know, I go, um, me and Jordan work in Mayfair clubs and I go out a lot of the time. So a lot of the time I am tanned. So this is perfect for me. My whole face is covered in this foundation. And look at it, please. Just take a moment. My skin looks flawless. So the next thing I'm gonna do is contour and conceal by using these Revolution Sticks. They are bomb. This is the shade F14. I grab a brush and I go like this, okay? And then I apply it with a brush because it's so easy to blend. And this is my new favorite step. I literally love this step. Okay, so that's the majority of my face done. Now, everyone asks me if I had a fox eye lift. No, I haven't. I literally haven't. This is my key to a snatched face. Okay, so you take a little bit and you apply it here. You see? Okay, so I literally blend, 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 blend. And this completely lifts your face to another dimension. Now, I'm gonna show you how, to ma how I start my nose contour. So I take a little bit, just go down. And you really get the shape that you want when you start to conceal. So next, I'm going to be moving on to concealer. I have two shades. I have F5 and F1. So this is what F5 looks like. It's a bit messy just because I did my beauty blenders in it. If you can see, I'm um, going to drag this up to achieve like, so you can see where I really shaded this part in. Honestly, you won't regret doing this. It changes your whole face shape and it creates an illusion. Like, it's so, so good. Such a good hack. So now that's done, the F5 shade, I'm gonna take F1 and I'm going to go in the corner of my eyes where it's important for it to be bright. To achieve the nose contour, going down the side of my nose with the concealer. Okay. And we're going right up into here onto my eyelid. Okay, so then I take a tiny bit, go down the bridge of my nose. So my next step is translucent powder. I always use the Laura Mercier translucent powder, as you can see, but I do actually love the Huda Beauty translucent powder too, and the smell of that one is unreal. So, I take my beauty blender, dab, 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 and I go straight for the end dry. I love looking matte under the eyes. So guys, my next step is bronzing. So I use the MAC Mineralized Bronzer in the shade Dark Tan, but for summertime or holidays, I like to use Give Me Sun, the shade Give Me Sun, um, because it's a bit warmer, but this one is honestly my go-to. So just dab the brush. Okay, so my next step is blusher. This is MAC blusher in the shade Warm Soul. And I've put so many of my friends onto this blusher. 
it's honestly to die for. Make sure you place it like upwards because if you place it too far to here, it looks wrong. Like, it looks like it'll drag your face down, downwards. I just keep it high and I love blusher. I can literally apply the whole pot. I think my love for blusher started when Kylie Jenner started using a lot of blush and I thought it looked so bomb on her. I was just like, I need blush in my life. And when I trained in my makeup school, they were like, blush is so important to bring colour into your face and make sure like you look healthy. Like it gives you a healthy glow, I think. Like blush is just a must, definitely. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to highlighter. This is my favourite highlighter in the world. It's again by MAC and it's called Soft and Gentle. It's so bomb guys. It's so bomb. Okay. So I'm going to take my highlighter brush. I like to use this. Sometimes I use a fan brush but I think this is more concentrated on the areas that you want to apply. You literally don't even need hardly anything. Okay. Let me show you. It's actually crazy. So yeah, I was gonna explain to you. So I've come to Wales for a few days just to see my family and stuff. Um, I'll soon be back to Jordan. This is how I highlight my nose. Okay. A little bit in the corners of the eyes is important to me too to brighten your face up. This isn't the best light to show you the highlighter, but honestly, if you really saw this, you'd be amazed. Okay, so my next step is I take a makeup wipe and I take off any base makeup, foundation powder that has gone into my eyebrows, okay? But be careful you don't rub any of your actual base off because now you've put powder on, put foundation, liquid foundation back on, it's just gonna make it real messy. Or concealer, if you put it over powders, it just goes real messy. Okay, once you've done that, I also take the foundation off my lips because no one likes crusty lips. Okay. Make sure it's all off. Cool. So there we have it. So here I am back again with my MAC products. This is MAC eyeshadow in the shade Espresso. So I'm just gonna use an angle brush to create haze in the gaps that I wanna fill. I like them to be a bit natural. I don't like them to be too blocky. So I'm going to try to be as natural as possible, create and shape. Okay, so I've pretty much filled my eyebrows in as much as I want to fill them in. Next, I'm just going to take a little flat brush and I'm going to find the shade F5 in the concealers. And I'm just going to do a tiny bit. I'm quite happy with the shape of them, they look quite natural, keeping the natural vibes. Now, I'm going to move on to my eyes. I don't really do anything with my eyes. So, I take the Hoola bronzer. I've got a tiny mini one, it's really cute, it's from Benefit. And I literally take a little brush and I go just where I use the bronzer, just to define a little bit more and really create that fox eye shape. That's all I do, all I do, literally all I do. Okay, so next, I take mascara. This, again, is Primark mascara. Primark, Primark, Primark. I love Primark. Watch the magic. This mascara is literally one pound. If you can see. So next I'm going to be moving on to lips. I lost my favourite lip stuff. So 
My favourite lip liner is usually the NYX lip liners. I like the shade Nude Truffle, I think. MAC lip liners are also good. They're just a bit more dry than the NYX ones. So this is the shade Cappuccino by Rimmel. It's usually darker the more I go for. So I'm just going to lightly shade. I do overdraw my lips a little bit. Nothing too much. Because I don't want it to be too liney, I always just rub it. Okay, suddenly fuller lips. So once the line is done, I never usually put lipstick on, but this is the shade Yash in the MAC lipstick. And I actually really, really like just a little bit in the centre. It just brings everything together for me. My favourite, 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 most favourite ever lip gloss is the Fenty lip glosses. I love the clear one, I love the pink one, I love the original one, Gloss Bomb. Like, honestly, I love them, they're to die for. I have got this now. It's literally from, like, a beauty store in London. And it's actually really good. It's got argan oil in it, so it's really moisturising for the lips. I'm going to a boot store tomorrow to buy all my fancy glosses. So there we have it. That's my face done. So now, ow! Ooh, that hurt! So now I'm just going to do this and I'm going to show you the MAC Face and Body Foundation. Okay. So, I never apply foundation with my hands, but for this one, it's kind of a must. I don't know if you can see a difference, but it's so... Mmm, I love it. Okay, and now I set it with my bronzer. I just dab, just to set it, because otherwise, honestly girls, you're literally going to be sticky all day if you leave the foundation to just dry. Okay, now once the bronzing section done, then I take the highlighter, this is my last step, and I go onto here. Shoulders, so important. Okay guys, so we've now come to the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed watching me achieve my everyday makeup look and got some tips for yourself, maybe anything that was unanswered for you but with my like products and what I did. Hope this answers everything for you. If there's any questions about anything at all, comment down below and I will answer on my Instagram story or Molly and Jordy's Instagram story. Follow Molly and Jordy and watch our reels and follow us on TikTok, Molly and Julie, if you don't already. Also, subscribe and comment and like on this video if you want to see more. And also, if you have any requests for future videos with to do with makeup or pranks or anything, just comment down below. Also, I just wanted to let you know, girls, that if you're based in London, I'm based in London, or if you're coming to visit London or for a trip, if you want a night out, your birthday night, weddings, anything, if you want me to do your makeup, text me, because as I said, I'm a qualified professional makeup artist. I can definitely try and slot you in with my busy lifestyle. I will do whatever I can for you. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go now. I've got a day filled with seeing my family, and I've got to prepare ready to go back to London. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I love you all. Thank you so much for supporting us. Peace out, guys.